Reagan and today I'm coming at you from a brand new angle and for a good reason I promised you so a couple of crazy things have happened today first off it was officially announced that there's going to be an eighth Harry Potter book or aka the cursed child which is which was a play is being released as a book this summer which pretty much we all died when that happened. Like, I'm a ghost right now. But I thought in honor of that, and just in general, I've been wanting to, I want to do the Pottermore um, sorting thing on the Pottermore website to kind of get my house situated. So, of course, I have already done the Pottermore sorting all those years ago when Pottermore was first a thing, and I was sorted into Ravenclaw. But that was like five years ago when I first did that, and I have stuck true to my very proud Ravenclaw heritage, but... Maybe it's changed. I don't know. I'm a little nervous, but I thought it'd be a good idea to take the quiz to see if it's changed and then we can, you know, we can talk through it together. But obviously, I'd pretty much be happy to be part of any house kind of besides Slytherin. I don't know. Like, I understand there's some really good Slytherins out there, but I just don't know about that, okay? I just don't know. Okay, we're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm really nervous. Okay, so the first question is forest or river? Wait, how come it's like with forest? If given the choice, would you rather have a potion that would guarantee you love, power, wisdom, glory? I'm gonna go with wisdom because I can use all the wisdom I can take. Honestly, I think wisdom is the most important thing anyone should strive for because wisdom just helps you so much in life. Which of the following would you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, that is hard. Being ignored, boredom, loneliness, cold with loneliness. I feel like that's like the saddest one of them all. Which nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds or any barriers to stop you falling. That's terrifying. Being forced to speak in such a silly voice, hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. No. Waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family who have any idea who you are, that's horrible. An eye at a keyhole of the dark windowless room in which you are locked. I'm gonna go with waking up to find that your friends and family don't know who you are. That's so sad. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try to open? A small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside some small creature seems to be squeaking. A small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, only open for the worthy. An ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. Well, that's tempting. A gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked the mysterious room that you know to the mark of the root. Okay. Totally this one because the mark of the Merlin's on it. So interesting, guys. If you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds? No, I'm not into that Edward Cullen power. I feel like that'd be really annoying. Like, you couldn't filter things out. The power to change your appearance at will, I think, is cool. The power to change the past, I don't believe in changing the past. The power to speak to animals would be pretty cool. The power of superhuman strength would be alright. The power of invisibility would be interesting. I'm gonna go with the power to change your appearance, because then you could, like, blend in. I've always thought that was really neat. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A cat? Or a toad? A toad? A toad? A toad? Why are there so many toads? Barn owl, snowy owl, brown owl, screech owl, tawny owl, white cat, black cat, ginger cat, Siamese cat, tabby cat. I think Siamese cats are really cute. Real story. Left or right? Left. Boom! It's assured. <laughs> You saw it here first, people. Got resorted into Ravenclaw. I don't have that. That feels great. I was a little nervous I was gonna get sorted into like Gryffindor because obviously I love the Gryffindor house, but I don't consider myself very brave at all. So there's that. But yay! So I got sorted back into Ravenclaw, which feels wonderful. Um, so that's kind of the end of this video. I know it was short, but I thought this might be fun. Uh, let me know down below the house you guys got sorted into and we were gonna have like a house battle to see like which house in the comments is the biggest that'd be pretty dang cool anyway um i will see you guys soon with another video soon goodbye